day 94 fall and we're going to the lake and as you'll notice I'm not wearing my winter cap I'm wearing my regular running cap because it's like 50 degrees out excited yeah. she's excited we're all excited we're excited all right so it's much later than when we showed that last clip because we filmed us going to the lake and it was an awesome day at the lake it was really warm it was actually in the lower 50s which is nice it felt like a summer day but your body does that like in february when it hits like 60 you're like wow and you have like sweater on top shorts on the bottom and but if you got 60 degrees in say june you'd be like holy god it's cold uh, Tuxie's been very needy right lately. Hey, hey! <laughs> Screaming, wants to be cuddled, uh, wants to open drawers consistently. Don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, Tara is a little under the weather. And so, she's just chillaxing by the TV, watching more Once Upon a Time. And I was putting up videos that we had been delaying. We had the proposal video, which took a lot more editing than I thought it was going to do because I had some ideas for it to make it a little, uh, a little more approachable and less cheesy. I'm not fond of cheesiness. Um, but concurrent with that, I was also doing some light reading. I was reading John Lindquist's Handling the Undead. I'm almost done with it. For a zombie novel, it's not what you'd be looking for. Like, if you picked up Handling the Undead, you're thinking, like, flesh and brains being ripped open everywhere. Uh, not really. And it seems like a really bare-bones idea. Like, he has a really cool way of, uh, how to do this without giving away any plot points. He has a really cool way of looking at a different sort of zombie apocalypse. But it's very bare-bones. I think he just wanted to write something kind of fast like he could have to me he could have dove a lot more into it and created this world but it got me thinking I hadn't shown you guys this and I thought maybe you'd be interested maybe you wouldn't <laughs> um it's my tiny green staples notebook and I got this sophomore year of college 2010 I got the notebook and it just sat in my desk drawer I didn't know what to do with it and <laughs> The cat's crapping. Um, what I started doing, and I don't know what really compelled me to do this. I must have been just sitting up late one night before a test or something, and I finished some pleasure reading books. Um, I started just writing the books I've read and in what order for that year. And it goes from 2011 to, to, to uh, 2016. I just started the 2016 page. I finished Robert McCannon's Mine, which was really good. I'd recommend that. Uh, I'll link the title down below just because yeah, in case you want to look into it if you like to read uh, but I actually really liked having this I know there's like websites like Goodreads and stuff like that but there's just something about having like a physical copy that I really like um, and I like trying to see like how much I've read over a certain year like in 2012 I read 22 books but last year I only read 10 so it's really just uh, a matter of just finding the time and stuff like that but it's really cool to look at and see what books really stuck with me and which ones didn't and I just thought I'd share that with you guys that's my little green reading book and every time I finish a book it gets put in here <sighs> I really should go cuz kitty's starting to break all the rules I don't know. I swear Tara feeds her sugar when I'm not looking. But uh, I hope you guys had a good day. Uh, I did. It was kind of calm, relaxing. It was nice. Um, tomorrow we have Odin, so we're going to be waking up a little earlier. And hopefully Tuxie will eventually calm down and we can all go to sleep. Night.